five, four, three, two, I know. Somehow the world may. I hope you didn't hit record. Oh, no, I, I no. did. <laughs> <laughs> no. Welcome back <laughs> to the super on time podcast where we're always on time and not doing it an hour What's late. <laughs> and we also never miss a week. Ever. Nope. See, 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 see. Podcast siempre done in tardes. De semana. Yeah, that. See, oh, see, it's tarde. It's tarde de semana. Um. Opero aquí? Uh, uh, I don't know what that oh, said. Okay. Hola. Wait, wait, wait. I got something to say. I have something to say to all of our Spanish speaking audience members. <clears throat> Let me get my throat ready. Uh, 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 ow. I think I straightened my throat. Need some tea. Okay. Give me one second to put it through Google Translate because <laughs> my, Spanish is really, my Spanish is really rusty and I got like a D in Spanish. Oh, wait, I know. Puerto El Baño. Si, El Baño is por favor. What are they doing? Whatever they said in the background. Oh, look at them speaking Spanish in the background. Perfect timing. Hola, Hermosas, Reyes, Y Besas, Reymenas, Como Leva. I probably did. So, what did he say? <laughs> I had to do the papi laugh. Uh, I said, Hello, my handsome kings and beautiful queens. How are y'all doing? No. Uh -huh. Today's podcast is muy importante. It is. Si. Si. Today right. we'll be discussing everything. And by everything, had, I mean a whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of people. Whole lot of yeah, nothing. We had, and, a, we had a PlayStation thing that ha totally happened this week. Two episodes dropped in the same week. And it. Yeah, can you believe all this stuff happened in the same week? I have an announcement to make. I have beaten Tears of the Kingdom, and it is the best video game ever made. Go over. Yeah, you say that now until the next game comes out, and you're like, ah, oh, no, this is the best video game. No, here's the thing. As much as I love Breath of the Wild, there's a lot of th little things that irk me. Yeah, Not like every one of those things. A lot of things that irk me. I may see I change my mind. Hey, yes, I'm smart. I can't ever let anyone have a problem. Finish your stupid assessment. <laughs> what my is ass happening? <laughs> my assessment is shut your pie hole before I staple your mouth shut. You stupid toaster. Not the staple. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever been so offended. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, I'll tie yourself to sleep every night for the next millennium. Damn. Anyways, wow. Heroes of the Kingdom is absolutely a peak game. I want to hear Jeff talk about it because me and Ryan beat it, but I haven't heard you talk about it at all, Jeff. Oh, yeah, because there's been so much going around, and I love it. I love everything about it. It's like, it's like they took Breath of the. Okay, so here's a funny analogy that I've been telling my friends. It's like they took Breath of the Wild and they added Fiji water to it. <laughs> it, just, it just made everything better somehow. The graphics, the the dungeon designs. Oh my god, I love the Gerudo one. Oh, dude, that, oh, that one is really peak. cool. Just like the different so levels. And, yeah. Dude, and the and Rizu, she is peak. She is a peak character. Oh, yeah. You know, especially how you control her ability. I'm not gonna spoil it for no one who played it, but it is so, so cool. It's like they took um, Bursa's ability, but refreshed it in a really creative way. So you have a lot more variety of stuff to do with it. Jesus Christ, she grew up a lot since uh, Breath of the Wild. She that's did. A, that's a huge character design change. It is. Well, to be fair, years have passed. Apparently, it's Isn't six it? years. It's like eight. I years, believe so. Actually. It's how Wait, many? Eight? Yeah. Hello. What's the day? Yeah, going Damn. off of the uh the Terrytown side quest, it would oh. be like eight years. Oh. You know what? 
I'm saying the next game needs to have a super muscular, super strong muscular looking Link with a six pack. I'm surprised and, he's like, not. Weird. I'm surprised he's not that now. It's been eight years. The only thing the next game is gonna have is Link with a missing leg next. <laughs> you and know then, what? And then the FM vacation of Zelda is complete. So true. Oh, and building in this game is hilarious. People have been going crazy <laughs> with the god hand. <laughs> with yeah. the building feature. People have made some, like, like if there's one thing, there's like, some games have like one aspect about them. People yeah. are addicted to, like, kind of like how in the Spider-Man game, uh, people were just addicted to just logging into it and just swinging around the city because they loved it. Yeah. This game, it's definitely building. It is. And made oh have you God. seen the torture devices people are making? Yeah, <laughs> I've also I've also seen the certain um mechs, mechs with quirky features on them. So and true. This, I haven't like, I don't have Chase the Kingdom, but I have seen like a couple of things that people made. All I know so far is that you can violate the Geneva Conventions in this game. <laughs> Man, this is too wholesome right now. I gotta be controversial. Oh my god. The, oh god. the god hand would have looked cooler if it was a claw hand. Oh man, Star is getting brave. Call him the brave little toaster. If it was more of a claw hand, that would be cooler. We found I mean, it, it is an episode a title. Yeah, I was about to <laughs> say, no, it's got little stupid fingernails, so it's lame. Yeah, he has long ass nails. It's the de yossified claw hand. <laughs> well. Yes and no. When you beat the game, something funny happens. Yeah. Ooh. Link loses his other hand. I like how you describe that. Something, something funny. <laughs> something funny happens. Something just sexy happens when you fight Ganondorf, too. He just starts twerking, naked, covered in oil, and I just start throwing money at the screen. I was like, wait, why am I throwing my 20s? I'm throwing my 50s. I'm throwing my 100s. What's happening? <laughs> There's nothing sexy about the Broccoli Man. Hey. I love broccoli. I can eat it for breakfast, so brunch. I, but that doesn't mean dinner. I want to date it. You wouldn't date broccoli? Yeah. No, I wouldn't date broccoli. That's, they have that one stupid looking green giant guy. Golly green giant, that's what it was called. Oh god. Well, you, well, know, what they say, well, you know what they say about broccoli and they get stuck in your teeth. Huh? Hey, I wouldn't right. mind getting that stuck in your teeth. Hey! <laughs> Oh my. Speaking of getting stuff stuck in my. You know, Miguel, Peter B. Parker, the list can go on and on and on. <laughs> oh, is there any more, just anything more to say about Zelda at the moment? Yes, Tears of the Kingdom is a peak game. If you don't like it, I will grab you from your insides and destroy you. Then give you head pads. Oh, <laughs> Okay, before we move on to the bigger topics, like, let's get the small one out of the way. Jeff, Phantom Blade Zero looks so freaking cool. The combat! Oh god, it looks like, it looks like fucking wire foo. I love it. Oh yeah, that's true, and all, at, like, I like how all the joint movement is precise. Like, I wasn't expecting that when I first saw the trailer, during, the, like, the actual combat showcase. And the the freaking the or are they what are they ninjas with masks? Um, or samurai? Triple faces? I don't know. Yeah, they they look creepy and it's great. I love how he ducks behind cover to avoid the saw hat. Like there was a saw hat, like a Mortal Kombat kind type of saw hat. Yeah, it was detached oh. to a chain though. Oh! Oh yeah 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 oh yeah the weapon. Like they call Batman Arkham the Ar Batman Arkham series free flow combat, but no, this this yeah, looks like free flow. That's actually free flow combat. Like it feels like anything goes, basically. A lot of momentum in every strike. Like the scene with the two swords and he's swinging it at the at his legs and he's blocking every strike. 
He, he blocked the table coming at his face with the blunt end of the sword. Ooh. They got an actual martial arts director for this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no wonder it looks like that. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and I love how he's incorporating kicks with his swings, too. Like, there's a scene where he blocks one guy with a sword and kicks away the other guy. It's great. And actually using kung fu stuff. And, and you're also using, like, the environment. I could duck and hide and like wall run and shit. Oh, that's really free flow combat, Jesus. What would you do if you had was it sixty six days to live? Sixty five or sixty six? I spent sixty four of those days fucking. Hello. What? <laughs> hey, you get the most out of what you have. I'm just saying. Language. Fine. I will I take. I wait, wait. What six? I will take thirty-two of those days taking it, and the other thirty-two days receiving. Oh, giving and receiving. Oh, that's slightly yeah. better. Oh, boy. And oh, with I, that, we are I done talking bad. about that game I because I didn't get a finish. <laughs> <What's the thing? laughs> <laughs> I love that one guy that had the freaking medieval Mega Man arm. I want a that's Mega Man. One, that's one way to describe I it. I want a Mega accurate. Man arm. <laughs> like I guess I thought it was just going to be a bunch of old style stuff, but then they incorp started incorporating steampunk in it too, and I'm like, yeah, I'm sold. Yeah, that's how it is these days. Can't have it without a little bit of steampunk. Understand that. I, I don't mind. Steampunk's freaking cool. Now, how many horses are going to get hurt? Well, judging from that trailer, only the bad guy horses. Understandable. I'm yeah, Phantom gonna... Blade looks crazy. Yeah, it looks fun. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. Shut your ass up. Anyways, Tears of the Kingdom. Back to peak. No, Isaiah. I've been taken over by an alien costume. We are talking about... Sp the Spider-Man now. He's not an alien, it's a symbiote. Don't be racist, there. get your turn we right. are talking about Spider-Man now. Oh, Spider-Man across the Spider-Man? Oh my god, oh, I'm We have to <laughs> down Craven. <laughs> I mean, we as in... We, not we as in we. So we as in we, but we as in not we. Yes. I totally we get it. Talking, as we in are talking. We are talking as in. We Venom. are talking. We are talking about us. Our pronouns are they them, because we're literally two people. <laughs> literally. We are Venom. Ah, uh, damn! I can't. I figure as I can do it as good as Tony Todd. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah, that was alright. I still can't beat remember, the man Tony Todd himself. Uh. Remember when? Remember when the Venom movies kept getting the pronouns wrong? Remember when they showed the gameplay for the game, and I was like, "Oh my god, I need this game!" And then I realized I don't have a PS5, so I started crying on the floor for like five it's hours. Hey, don't Isaiah. worry, don't worry, Isaiah. <laughs> Isaiah, don't worry. You can cry into Craven's extremely hairy chest. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, don't worry. You'll see me as Venom on the next, on whatever uh, mobile game they decide to do. How many of us have a PS5, actually? Nope. I don't. I, I think I'm definitely not. Only I got one for Christmas. Wait, do you? Do you, Jeff? No. Told you. It was wow. A See, I told you. Star. Nobody, That's will, be insane. nobody will be getting it a lot. A star. I didn't, even, I didn't even ask for it. You're not <laughs> going to convince me the PS5 has sold that much. Nobody has it. <laughs> exactly. And the crazy part is, I didn't even ask for it. They just got it for me for Christmas. That's good for you, man. Very happy Actually, I mean, I know I need to get a PS5. I'm gonna get a. No, I'm gonna get my not, a no, it's not good for me. Now I feel really bad about my gifts. 
Okay, now you should get. Okay, you can feel less bad by giving it to someone who needs to, aka me. Oh well. You could always I get mean, all I'd of us PS5. Oh, I'd be giving them I, a I, gift I, then. I mean, I, mean, I look. I mean, I look. I googled it, and PlayStation Five is still the lowest uh, selling PlayStation console right now. I mean, that is yeah. how video game console sales tend to go. <laughs> Yeah, but, didn't, yeah, but didn't the PS4 sales go insane? Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's did. because, yeah. That's because they actually had, had stock. a lot of bad marketing. And Xbox was not good last generation. Oh crap, we're getting sidetracked. Uh, why? Welcome, welcome to the Dynamax Podcast X, where we never get sidetracked, unlike our previous incarnations. Yeah. Hey, at least there's less yelling. <laughs> talk about Peter. And they are they were pissed in this trailer. They were. I get, they were. I get I get it. I get it. There was a lot of stuff going on in their lives. Like Craven was showing up, fucking the city up. The Professor Kurt Connors is experimenting with lizard DNA. Miles is being an annoying little I want to help you, Peter. And now, here he is and dead. Some, and sometimes, you know, you get really annoyed at the person that's trying to be helpful. And anyway, yeah. I'm looking forward to the Omni Man style boss fight where, where, you know, you just play as Peter and beat the shit out of Miles Art. and you go like. And then it ends yeah. with Peter going, Why did you make us do this? Star, I'm sorry, but Miles. you couldn't be more wrong. They're clearly setting up for Miles to take down. No, Peter. no, no. I'm thinking it's going to be both. I'm, I just think it would be like you play as No, no, no. Like you play as Peter first, and then you play as like, Miles. For the... like it would be so crazy. Miles gets the W. Let's go. Yeah. As like he should. I just think it would be crazier if it was Peter that you play as during that boss fight. No, it could be both. Have one phase be or, Peter, or, wait, next or maybe phase get or, or maybe be like one of the Tales game where you choose where you got two different endings depending on how it goes. Well, I don't know how I feel oh. about that. Yeah. Like, how would they I'm lead not, into the next one? I mean, Which like, ending do you go off of? No, not ending. I mean, like two different. Different for versions out, different outcomes for the yeah. end. Yeah, like one where Peter beats up Miles and one where Miles beats up Peter. Yeah. Why did you make us do that, Miles? I'm stronger than you, older than you. Comics are better than me, better than us, ours, but that's about it. And my movies. I don't constantly go downwards in character regression. He just starts crying. Choose I can actually keep it. my love interest. He's like, shut up, shut up, shut up! And he just starts beating my arms. You're hurting like, us! <laughs> yeah, ew, put that furry um, stuff on my timeline. That's gross. Yeah, my, mm -hmm. But before all that, the game, after he gets the symbiote, Miles all like, Hey, yo, Peter, why are you using they, them pronouns? When did you switch? <laughs> well, you see, Miles, it's nothing like that, but I am literally two different people. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that thing. Well, why is it so slimy on the underarms? <laughs> Well, Miles, I thought you of all people would be tolerant, but I guess not. <laughs> You're intolerant. Ew, yeah, what else what to say about Spider-Man? Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait they, they brought in the wingsuit from the MCU, which I am... I'm alright with. The wingsuit was cool. I just oh, like how you're able to switch between Peter and Miles at any point in the game. That's so cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, but the best new feature they added guys gather round because they got rid of those stupid towers you don't need to unlock the map anymore it's just there now that's Ooh. Idea. that's, that's good. true that's really hey. good i did like doing it in the first two games but i'm glad you don't have to redo it again since they're using the same made map. Made oh, the map now 
Now all they need to do, now all they gotta do is add a sequence where Symbiote Peter beats the shit out of Screwball. Oh, also, the map is 1.5 times bigger than yeah, the first Spider-Man game. I did say you that. Mean, I mean, I mean, <laughs> no, well, nobody, I said it was bigger, want... not exactly. I'll put you as well. No, nobody else wants to see Screwball get the shit beaten out of her? Just me? Oh, oh I, do. I do. I do. Get our ass. I will do it myself. <laughs> 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 Yeah, guys, I feel spoiled. Uh, Spider-Man hey, 2 and hey, Tears hey, of the Kingdom hey, back to back. Hey, Spider- hey, Spider-Man, I see you're rocking that black suit. How about a photo bot? Uh, grabs her by the throat and just slams her into a wall repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there is one other really cool thing I feel like people are not talking about. The Little Mermaid movie. That movie really slapped. That movie went so hard. Oh, I didn't see it yet. We love to see black protagonists thriving. Yes, we do. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you know who else was thriving? Trident. Fr when he went around the world sleeping with different women. I don't know. He was messing with I think. All those girls were different ethnicities. They had different moms. There's no way they all came from the same one. Oh, Jesus. He should have just kept all of them except the snow bunny. You can tell he didn't want them because of how special he, he treated Ariel. By special? Mm, I wouldn't say he treated her special. Oh, he nah, was nah that nah that girl got away with a lot in the original. Probably got away with more in the remake. I will and say that yet, Eric is a lot better of a character. The chemistry is so 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 fucking good. It is like mm, now this is how you do romance like. It's just how they film everything, and it's the little stuff, like the little touches, the little eye contacts, the little understanding, the way how he finds out Ariel is actually her name. It's really lovely. I really hope everyone sees the movie, because I think everyone will love it. Although there is one major plot hole that carries over to this movie as well. Earl, if you can write, why didn't you just tell him the situation? Joke. I don't actually care care about it. I'm joking. Oh yeah, but speaking of peak, peak. Um, excuse me. Pokemon Horizons has given us two bangers. Mm -hmm. Yep. So who's doing the honor of the summarization? I already know. We're who. just talking about the episodes. Okay. Since we're limited yeah, on time, and it's two of them again. I think my favorite thing about this episode, ironically, go and that stuff. I think uh, it's more just Roy and Reed's relationship, and how you get to experience stuff like Roy's first um, wild battle and various yeah, things like I'm his a, first experience in the city. I'ma be real. Dot is not kind of Dot's design is kind of underwhelming. It looks like a. Pokemon, right? Uh, what's the name of it again? Cherum. Yes, yes. I was, expect like I was expecting someone with a Nido Queen haircut for at first, because you know the whole <laughs> Nido thing. So I was just like, hey, wait, what the heck? Who is that? It's bad enough they have a fucking Quaxley, but then <laughs> give them this. Very underwhelming design, especially compared to everybody else on the ship. Yeah. And those eyes, too! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just flaming this child. <laughs> hey, hey, they deserve hey, it. Hey what, a, hey, what Dot is going through is nothing compared to what I'm gonna do to Liko's dad. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. and, and, oh yeah, there was a one really cool aspect of the episode that I don't think a lot of people talked about. We found mm -hmm. out like um, 
about her live stream. So when Liko joined, they had this one thing back. They had, did a call back to episode five. They were like this. I thought I was undefeatable but my Rhyhorn, but this stupid kid and his foe Coco blasted me into, <laughs> like, smithereens. And I was like, that's that level of pettiness I respect. That'd be like me. If some that little ass would be me. If a kid beat me, I'd be ranting in a live chat like that. I'd be petty, too. What did he fuck? Did he hack that right on into existence or something? Huh? Well, yeah, clearly it was, like, level negative one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those two are as weak as Team Rocket. Negative outside stats. Of Rocket Very defective. That's funny how Lee Gunroy both won their battles yeah. so easily. Still couldn't compare to the captain, though. Oh, can I mean, that's anyone captain be the control compare, though? Nope. Can nope, he's the, the captain. Camp. I mean, I guess Ash is Pikachu, but, like, Ash's Pikachu is retired, so mm, I guess yeah. not. Plus, I might not even be the same universe, so... That's yeah. that's insane if that's true. I hope free. What I hope free. I hope free gets a Lucario and a Mega Charizard X. That'd be peak. And a Kramer. Yeah, he just has the most small team. <laughs> oh yeah, and he gets a level one hundred Swellow. Yeah, cool the too. Swallow. And then he just like one shots a Star Raptor just for the sake of it. That'd be peak too. <laughs> 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 the fact that Star Raptor just disappeared from the from the anime, just in general, is really funny. Uh, <laughs> it only it only it only gets cameos now. As it sh actually, I shouldn't even yeah. get cameos. Oh yeah, I I do, <laughs> I do wonder if Le if uh, Leko or Roy uh, with who would be more compatible with Cramoranta, maybe Roy. Yeah, it's either, a, it's either a Roy Pokemon or a Freed Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else to say about this episode, or is it, are we going to the next one? Um, um, we got Top do the ending. Well, not really do the ending. She just kind of said, screw you guys, I'm going home. Well, you have, like, the little Peter subplot Hilarious. where it was just Murdoch trying to make something she would Ooh, actually eat. Oh, yeah, trying to, yeah, trying to make Dot eat the, the pastries. Yeah, and free, and free, and free is just like, ooh, don't mind if I do. Freedom, and Murdoch, Quaxley just being close friends eating donuts. And Quaxley just running around screaming a bunch what? of racially motivated oh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, not, well, not, well, not screaming, but like quacking racially motivated stuff. Oh, I Quack. told you not to let the darker one into the room. <laughs> Quacksley, Quacksley, when Pride Mom starts. Okay, where's some flags? We need to shoot them down. <laughs> I just like to think that Quacks is just like the biggest bigot ever, but no. <laughs> I mean, Quacks, we just yeah. like to say clean. And you, you know, Pride Month isn't clean, so Quacks wants to get rid of it. It needs to be clean! <laughs> that one screenshot where it looks like it just. <laughs> And wait, why was I singing in the episode when I ate the donuts? Like, oh, like five seconds. I was like, what? That wasn't <laughs> singing. That was. That was not singing. That was just. A... I, don't know, I don't know what that was. That was it noise, was. I it was. Yeah, it was noise. making. It was making noise. That's it. I was. La I was laughing. It wasn't even like. like it wasn't up. shouting. It wasn't singing. <laughs> it was just. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Just making noise. Wait, Jeff, what are you saying? I was laughing at the part of the episode where like Roy like woke up in the middle of the night, and, and Freed and Murdoch were just doing their donut business, and Freed Freed sets Roy outside the door, and he's like, "Shoo, shoo, go to bed." He's like, "Okay, save me one of those things in the morning." <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, Roy. I like how Roy's just like, I, I see you. I'm not stupid. Yeah. That's something I want to talk about the next episode, but Roy's actually really, really smart. Yeah. But the yeah. part about that, it was that one scene where it's like, Leek, I was like, we got covered in freaking cream. It was the worst. And Roy's like, cream? I want to get covered in that. He just starts running, and she's like, it wasn't very fun. I just love how different their dynamics are and, like, how different they are. Yeah. Also, love how self-aware they both are. It's hilarious. Yeah. They're like, uh, both, uh, like, uh, they... It's not like they share a brain cell. Uh, they take turns on it. I don't know how <laughs> it's different. <laughs> That's no. to describe it. I love that. Yeah, they, don't, they don't share it. They just sometimes take it away from each other. Yeah. Well, it's my my turn on the brain cell. Because I can't think of anything else that we. No, not for this. Episode. Not, not for this episode. Uh, okay, but all right. Before we get into the good of the next step episode, let's just get this out of the way. Eco's dad. If it weren't for the fact that he's confirmed to be native to Paldea, I'd just assume that he's some random milk toast white guy. Oh, he's not, probably not, no, just, he's not probably just not just any <laughs> random milk toast white guy. I think he's a random FMA background milk toast white guy. <laughs> oh my god, that's so accurate. Like when I oh saw god. this guy, I thought, ah, oh, he just looks like a background character from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh my god, it's true. He really does, and that's the sad part. That her dad looks like someone from one of the Pokemon towns that just tells you how to purchase stuff from the vending machines. <laughs> <laughs> the he looks like he looks like one of those Scarlet and Violet randomly generated. Yeah, it's like, like this. You click A at the vending machine. The deossification of Pokemon parents is crazy. He um, went from peak parent designs in Sun and Moon to like. Whatever the hell JN is, and now ugh, <laughs> it goes bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's not Ash Ketchum. <laughs> People are just crying. It, it I can't Ash believe he changed his name and got surgery. I can't believe Ash wished upon Ho O's feather to become I, Alex. I can't. <laughs> 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 I can't believe Liko's mother is Kita. Yeah, I did. You know uh, what? I the worst part about that is that I hate that it uh, possible. Uh, I know. I said the same uh, thing. Just, I, like, I hate the uh, fact that it's very. It's it could it's actually very be possible. Be yeah. It's yeah. Just, Oh my god. The moment you linked in, I looked in the chat, I stared at it, and my brain was just realizing, oh god, wait a second. It is the show over. Is busy, busy doing work and everything. She's not just a champion, she's the chairwoman the entire league. God, the genetics make sense too. What the fuck? Oh god. Yeah, and the milk toast thing took all of her melanin, so. Yeah, that was from her dad. Oh god, it's Jover. It is so Jover. Unless, of course, her eyes is... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Ah, uh, they don't... Oh wait, never mind, they did it with Kukui, what am I talking about? Oh my god. Uh, I forgot that they gave Kukui a game character, an actual child. In the anime. Yeah! Holy crap. Holy crap. It's yeah. actually... Oh my god, it's actually- oh my- oh no, oh no, oh, oh I mean, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'll t I'll look at the bright side, I'll take that over Serena with the no-nonsense fucking genetics that don't make any sense. True, true. Why have a mom with that much melanin come out oh. so white? Yeah, her you dad, marry, her dad you marry, a, marry, marry a white guy named Alex. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in the in the oh, I thought you were of that one. <laughs> I, don't know, I thought you were talking about Serena's mom. In the ever wise words of that one black guy whose name I forgot, why are you white? Why are you white? Why are you white? I do think it is funny how Serena's mom is like, a di is like, ha is like slightly dark, like ever so slightly darker than her uh, child. Or I guess the better. I guess the better phrasing is that Serena's paler than her mom. 
That's probably better Grace, than Serpent. Grace is actually kind of tan. Every time I look at her, I'm like, what happened to Serena? Why did why did Arceus do that to her? Oh my God, That's I why Grace was so hard on Serena. Oh she didn't want to draw as a child. <laughs> I, just got, I just got the perfect thumbnail idea. Ryan, mm -hmm. take this image and put Liko's dad on it. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know if that works for a thumbnail. The image is too small. Mm, we'll see what I can do. But you know what image does work? This image. When Liko and Roy went shopping and they were just in the glasses wearing each other's colors were oh, so... Oh, yeah, that... Aww. I love that. I, I saw love that on my timeline that I... I saw uh, that on my timeline and I actually squeak. I actually did a, like, a squeak. Honestly, um, I don't think it... I don't think it's gonna be an Ash and Gold thing, but this is gonna be one of my favorite dynamics ever in the anime. Their friendship is just they're, so cute. They're fun, so it's cool. a very good like, dynamic. They feel yeah. like siblings, I love it. Yeah. Nah, they I'm do! Sorry, it's I weird. Know, but you're absolutely wrong. The best moment... Was Fuey Coco finally fermenting? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Pepper's ferment. He's just like me. <laughs> I, think one of uh, the, I think one of the craziest things about this episode by far, though, is the fact that it has Ryan openly simping Molly. Hello? I mean... I mean, all we I mean, this. all the all the adults on the show are hot. So, yeah. Ryan, right, I've rising. never seen you openly do it. You're usually a tsundere. Well, that I he's mean, been really. I know. I kind of really just, just don't, don't care now. <laughs> yeah, you know, Ryan. Yeah. The secret, <laughs> the secret about Ryan that you gotta know is that he really likes the tall, pink-haired ones. The ones who look Canadian. He does. He, he like, like he, Ryan, he, uh, Ryan retweeted a picture of Perona. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah. And he, he likes Perona. And he does like that one girl from uh, Lapis. Yeah, from Fire Emblem Three Houses. We found your type, Ryan. It's Jonor. Not, <laughs> not immune to pink. <laughs> <laughs> pink wow. is a good. I blame Kirby. <laughs> wow. Hey. Pink is his yeah, kryptonite. Yeah, for... That's crazy. Yeah, pretty much every adult on the Rising Volt Tacklers ship is like oh, Orla. attractive. Uh, Wood. <laughs> Murdoch. Wood. Really Orla. Get... Wood. Um, Murdoch is Green one Wood. Wood. Yeah. Murdoch is a wonderful. I remember. He is. Murdoch is a tree. I love him. He's, he's just a. He's a, a, he's a ray of sunshine. Yeah. I love him. I yeah. remember when Ryan had the nerve to call Orla's design mid. I didn't <laughs> say that. No way. <laughs> I told you. I told you. you were so caught up in Orla. simping the pink haired one that you were like, Orla kind of mid, you guys. I didn't I say that, that though. I will oh, say, I think, I think Freed and Murdoch had me like right away. It took a little bit like for me to like be attracted to Molly and uh. Uh, Orla, it was this episode where I was like, <laughs> okay, I get it. Orla's name for a second star, stars just like teleport behind you with the Kamehameha. Get your name right. Nah, because me, me personally, I saw Orla yeah. cranking those games. <laughs> second I saw her with the with the tools and the Metagross, I was all like, yes, you will be the best girl in this yeah, show. Yeah, I, yeah, I started levitating. It was weird. It's crazy how the Rising Voltaclus is already one of the best groups in the entire anime. Uh huh. Yeah. Let that sink in. It's only been nine episodes. I'm, I'm getting yeah. some. Uh, I'm getting some. Uh, some Straw Hat vibes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now all we're missing is the really overdone memes. <laughs> I oh God. That. I mean, if Mythio joins, he'll be I'm like, not, not, I'm not doing my algebra homework. That could be his. Not, <laughs> not, count, not counting the Claxley stuff that we say, because that's all true. <laughs> I mean, um... I guess Dot is the closest one, because she has a lot of gags, where it's like... Her being uh, like... I mean, yeah, she, well, no, yeah, I mean, she no, makes I mean, me like, gag all right. <laughs> no, I mean, like, over, no, I mean like an overdone fan. I, I can't. I don't care about her that much. Uh, yeah, like, she's I mean, like, over, 
mean like an overdone fandom meme for like the, something on par with the Zoro is racist meme. Uh, <laughs> that's not a meme, that's true. It's true. He's Partially a minority true. hunter. Partially true. <laughs> Uh, but I will well, say, Dot has a very catchy theme song. That shit's still stuck in my head. Oh. The Nido theme. Oh, wait. Don't... How did it take me just now to realize that Nido thing and Gurumin are, like, the same syllables, even? Yeah. Mm. Or I guess... It... Wait a minute. Has Rayquaza's like... Japanese name always been Rakuza? Yeah. Okay, because whenever I go on Bulbapedia, they I, I don't see it anywhere. Uh, I think that's just how it was like translated uh, for some oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just how. Because the spelling it's, is. Different. Yeah, it's pronounced the same. Yeah, way. it's just the uh, Bulbapedia because if has you it. like hover, if you hover over the katakana like uh, characters, uh, the Japanese characters, it does say it does say Urekuza. Oh, okay. So it's. It's how it's pronounced, yeah. But yeah, it's still like having it as Rayquaza is a way of just translating that. Yeah. They call it Rayquaza, but it never shoots any rays. I mean, it shot one. It shot one at the old... Okay, but that was a beam, Jeff. Totally different. Oh, oh. Man, I really. Man. <laughs> I do like how yeah, we get to see for Liko and Roy, they're constantly just supporting each other with different yeah. stuff where they go, like, trying to give Roy that extra push to join, you know, the rising low tacklers, or if it's with Roy with being really observant, like, hey, I think Sprigatito just got jealous because you were giving all your attention to Fido. Yeah. Probably waiting for you back at the house. Because I wasn't yeah. expecting him to be the one to point that out. Yeah. I like how they act like real people. Yeah. Like, I, like wait. for example, that scene. I think it was last episode, but that scene had me dying when they uh when Roy lost the rock paper scissor contest for who would stay with the airship. Oh and then, yeah. And then Roy, and then Roy was like, "I'll give you a secret, Rico, if you let me go." And Rico's just like playing with him. He's like, I don't know, but in her head, she's Rico. Like, Rico. I, I kind of, I kind of alternate. Not gonna lie. No. Oh God, it's Jover. Uh, yeah, next thing you know, he's gonna be screaming out cookies and popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wait a minute. God, what's the Jeff reference? Like that. What's the reference? You know! Oh, Jeff, I think you know the reference. Oh, no. <laughs> no. no! Oh, God. You better clean that up later. <laughs> no, so we'll get out of here. Anyways, so, anyways, I never said Rico. I don't know who that is. I know Rika. Oh, damn. <laughs> but, anyways, yeah, Liko. Liko, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, we also got a cameo, well not a cameo, but an appearance of the most disappointing Baldiamon. Everybody's favorite girl boss pig. Oh god. Oh, my god. oh yeah. Oh my god. I think the thing could have looked so cool when it evolved, but they just made it look lame. Yeah, explains why, explains, explains why it confused Liko could just jump around it like it was nothing. So that's kind of what they do. They just attack with no brain movement. And not only was it disappointing in the games, but it was also kind of disappointing in its first appearance, too. It's hit once, and it's all like, alright, I'm out. That's because Sprigatito is an icon at the moment. Oh, poor Sprigatito was kind of jealous. I, if I, for, I, I sometimes sorry, forget but... that that... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, but if Sparrow puts up a better fight than you, then it's over. You're done. Pack it's your over. shit and leave. Pack your shit I, and go. I, like, right. forgot that, like, being jealous was kind of in Sprigatia's nature. 
at like yeah. in the next entries and like descriptions. Uh, what an attention whore. Yeah, that too. Just like me for real. And then I realized, and then afterwards I realized, hey, we, we don't have to worry about redoing character arcs because these are new characters. Yep. Hint, hint, jealous Pikachu. I can't, believe, mm. I can't believe Liko's training a different Poke- Actually, that does sound like it's going to be a genuine issue later on. Remind. Yeah, I think that's going to be really cool. That's why I'm excited to see Bill and Roy catch Pokemon. Bro. And like Lico catches the stupid girl boss pig. No, no she mm, for that. I I don't no. know if that'll happen. No, she catches an actual girl boss. The Pokemon she catches is. A ton. The... Oh, I was gonna say. I was no, gonna say. I was gonna say. How, say dare, you, Jeff, how dare you? Tinkaton is going to Roy. Hmm. Pink, also see the that. pink siblings need to stay together. <laughs> huh? I was gonna say Hisuian and Lilligan. Oh. Huh. Well, okay, then Roy. Okay, then Roy gets Hisuian, so Roy gets, uh. Ooh. Who's gonna I'm get his not, not crazy. Considering it's considering this is a, an around the world thing, I don't expect a full team of Hisuians. Yeah. No, absolutely <laughs> yeah, not. Funny, though. It's not like, I mean, Pal Paldeans, oh. Paldeans. Oh, Paldeans, I mean. yeah, no. I expect I some, but not all of them. Yeah, but not all Paldeans. Maybe two or three. Oh man. But yeah. Are they gonna yeah. Are they gonna go to Hisui somehow? Just like I think they crazy will. time yeah. travel. I think they could. I mean, Pokemon Masters is doing stuff. Oh no! With it. Okay, yeah. guys, guys, I can see it now. They confront the big final boss of Scarlet and Violet, and but before the final blow is struck, they tear open a portal in time and mm -hmm. plunge them into the past, where their evil is raw. Now what? the fools seek to return to the present and confront the evils that is Volo? I am. Oh, uh, they're gonna say the performance issues. <laughs> the performance issues. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that is a true villain of Scarlet and Violet. Undo the evil that is the performance issues. How <laughs> to get back, back to the present, the Volt Tackles. Volt Tackles. Volt Tackle back. Watch out. Oh my gosh, one of my mutuals said they're expecting at one point where Liko and Roy travel a little bit alone without the Rising Volt Tacklers just to get stronger, and I could see that. Imagine if that's the Stillian thing. That'd be so cool. Oh, just I Liko and Roy by themselves. Oh, I can see. I do it wonder now. when Roy and Tinkaton are having a little brief training arc. They have a hard time reaching and hitting this flying Pokemon, and fuck Tinkaton has a whole training thing revolving around jumping good. That poor, poor, <laughs> unsuspecting Corviknight gets <laughs> cocky, thinking it can't be reached. And suddenly Tinkaton leaps high into the air and so like, What you can fly? No, jump good. Ah, what no, if it jump good. What if it uses its hammer to propel itself off the ground? Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, there's so much potential. Yeah. Does a little, does a little, oh wait, it learns Gyro Ball and does a little Sonic Spin Dash thing. Oh. The Tammer. Can Tinkaton learn Gyro Ball? Uh, uh let me check, uh. Gyro Ball is the spinning move, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, they cannot. Oh. And meanwhile, Liko and whatever Pokemon she catches 
You have to go back and catch that electric bird thing, I think. If Not we go to a royal low kick. Oh, no. Not the discount. Give one of them a low kick. Flamingo, I guess? She catches the flamingo? Oh, that'd be cool. Swallow yeah, doesn't need to be electric type to have thunder give, armor. Give royal low kicks. Ooh, yeah, oh. yeah! Yeah! Okay. For the next episode, we're going to be making our team. We gotta make some yeah. teams. Yeah, that'd, that'd be fun. fun. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun right? Wait, I got it. I got it. So Liko re recalls her past as a boxer and decides to teach Flamingo <laughs> how to box. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if, if if one of them actually did get low kicks. They actually got a common writer actor to voice it. Oh, that would oh, be amazing. That would, Jeff would die. <laughs> Jeff would <laughs> die. Be gone. They already, they already had one of them in the uh, the Detective Pikachu movie. I'd, oh, oh, I'd, yeah. I'd die. Alright, well, anything else? Uh... Oh, wait, I got it. Who'd win in a death battle? Ego's dad or Caillou's beta beta dad? Oh my god, Caillou! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know what Star is referencing. No, Caillou's no, beta dad. Who would win in a fight between that's those hilarious. two? hilarious. Yes. I know exactly what you're referencing, Star. Oh, the winner is Unsalted Crackers. <laughs> 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 okay, you gotta end it all there.